might need a degree in languages to pronounce most of the Hearts first team squad right now, but the Tynecastle side have been transformed since the arrival of their foreign imports. Killy were the latest team to be put to the sword. Hearts form is now showing signs of improvement, and they started well here. Alan Johnson, but a good save by Lekovic. The Tynecastle side have been carrying a greater goal threat since the introduction of the Foreign Legion. And the big Swede, Hans Eskelsen, scoring in his debut last week and also getting off to a great start here. Kamarnock then started to come into the game. A well-timed pass from Colin McKee through to Paul Wright. One and one with Rousset, the Frenchman narrowing the angle. Hearts back on the attack and the new look side adopting the continental passing game through for John Robertson, Lekovic, the equal to the shot. While Hearts played the short passing game, Kamarnock preferred the direct route to goal. The first real chance after the break falling to Paul Wright. Once again, Rusi the hero. Hearts continued to try to play attractive football and eventually it paid off. A good three-man move, started and finished by Gary Locke. The skipper's through, he did well, that's his first goal for Hearts, a moment he'll cherish. If you thought that move was good, the build-up to Hearts' second goal was straight out of Serie A. A great move, down the left, releasing Stevie Baggio Fulton, his perfect cross finding Eskelson, the shot turned into the net by John Robertson, who else? A typical finish by the top Tynecastle striker. All credit to Kilmarnock, though, they refused to throw in the towel. The Hearts defence failing to clear, again, Rousset saving this time from Mitchell. But the danger wasn't totally over. Some slackness in the midfield. New boy, Paul Smith, and Stevie Fulton getting into a fankel, leaving the ball for each other, and allowing John Henry to nip in. And create Kilmarnock's only goal. Robert Connor found good space. The ex Aberdeen man found Colin McKee, and the former Manchester United reserve beating Rousset to give Kilmarnock a consolation.